So we're gonna start on this page. The paint I have right now is this, this array, and I'm gonna need another white. Where's my white? I have got, I'll tell you what I have. Uh, wild blueberries, these are, these are all the Martha Stewart satin uh, acrylic craft paint. So I've got them in wild blueberry, chipotle, Caribbean blue and poodle skirt, and then I just have a uh, titanium whites in um, the student grade um, acrylic paint from Michaels. And these are I got these at Michaels too. I'm sure you could find some things similar on the internet. Okay, so I think I want to brighten up the background a little bit before we start. So I'm going to use this Caribbean blue to do that. Uh, it's probably too much. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I'm using this flat brush. Uh, what number is it? Number six. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna use my brayer. I get paint all over myself already. <laughs> that is typical. <laughs> Put some over here so it looks kind of matchy. Matchy is a technical artist term. Very, very official. <laughs> Just so you know what I'm doing over here is I took some of the paint that I put on here and I took it and put it off on like a little palette over here. Um, so if you're like, what is she doing over there? I just lifted some of it off and then I'm drawing from that. Like it's a little palette, okay? <clears throat> That's pretty good for what I want. I have an idea of what I'm gonna paint, what I want the theme of this to be. Um, so I'm just gonna go for it and start drawing a little face. Sometimes, um, just gonna let him into my process a little bit. Sometimes, um, I just start and, and draw whatever comes out. And sometimes um, I look at the page and I feel like there's something already there. And so I'm just taking a minute to see if there's anything that comes out. And obviously this is a pretty like, this isn't a very busy page, but I feel like, so I feel like it's a, this process is kind of a combination of like just actual visual like skill. I don't know if it's skill, but just like being able to see something on the page um, that inspires you and also partly intuition. So if you're like looking at the page and you might not even see anything there, but your gut might like come up with something when you're doing that. So I'm gonna take a minute and do that. Drawing some eyes. Um, so remember that whatever you draw here, um, we're gonna paint over this quite a bit probably. Um, so if it doesn't look exactly like what you want, um, we're gonna have lots and lots of opportunity to fix it. So I drew my little basic face there. bit of shape. I already have an idea of what I want the hair to do. I'm just gonna sketch that in a little bit. I 
And now we're ready to start adding some, some color. So I lied. I lied a little bit. I'm also gonna use this Martha Stewart Sandcastle color. Um, and I'm just gonna take a minute and quickly get all my paint going on this little, again, it's just a piece of cardboard. Very official here. <laughs> I'm not putting too much out because it's a very small little page, right? Okay, so I've got those colors, blood's my white, and now we're good, good, good to go. And just so you know, I'm also using my Stabilo pencil, I should have mentioned that, but you can use any kind of a pencil or drawing implement that you would like to just get a different effect. I'm going to use this little brush, uh, number two, shader. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to use the Sandcastle color just to get a base neutral tone down. Okay, remember this is a water soluble pencil, so um, it will pick up, the, the wet paint and water will pick it up and kind of blend it out. So I'm adding some of the dark blueberry, the wild blueberry color to places where I would like to have uh, the, the kind of a shadow effect. So those are the places on the face that are a little bit farther away from the viewer. Or kind of overshadowed by something. And it's okay if you go too heavy, right? It's okay. You can fix it later. It's okay if we're going to do it up here, where we're, if we're going to cover that forehead up with hair, it's okay to put some shading there. Um, yeah, it's okay. Add a little bit of that red. Play with that for blending. Now I'm going to uh, go with that little teal Caribbean blue again. And this is like kind of a mid-tone right in, uh, between the really dark and the really light. You can help us kind of chill the all the darkness out a little. Let's add 
some water to my brush because it was getting kind of fluffy. And you are welcome to wait for your layers of shading to dry in between each coat, each layer. Uh, I am impatient, <laughs> so I don't like to. <laughs> and I like to work with them when they're wet, too. Right, now I'm going to use that like baby pink color. I'm lighting it up even more. And, let's see, now I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that Sandcastle tan color. Kind of bring back a little bit of a normal, <laughs> realistic skin tone here. <laughs> not, not pinky, purpley, <laughs> cotton candy skin. And you know what? Cotton candy skin is cool, man. <laughs> Uh, if you want to have cotton candy skin in your art, I encourage you to go for it. But just this particular one, I don't want to have that. <clears throat> and now a touch of titanium white, the whitest white. Hi lady spots, the very brightest, farthest forward parts of the face, of the nose, the forehead, the chin, and the cheekies. Cheekies! <laughs> it's like I'm talking to my kids. I never thought I'd be that mom who would be like, you know, baby talk, and I don't baby talk a lot, and my kids are, well, I can't really speak for the baby yet, because he's not, he's kind of mostly pre-verbal, but my four-year-old is very bright, so it hasn't, like, negatively impacted him, but, um, yeah, I never thought I would be like, cheekies, but I am like that, I do that, <laughs> don't judge me too much, <laughs> and now I'm putting the whites of the eyes in, uh, messily and that's okay as we're going to go back now and we are going to let the paint set a little bit and then redefine the um the features of the face that we lost in all of that delicious shading oh, it's a little high up there but it's okay Now the eyes look kind of creepy, a little bit creepy, but we'll fix it later. A little bit more on the eyes.
now we're gonna kind of do that whole thing all over again. You could step step here if you wanted. I am gonna go bring out some more shading again. Using that dark blue color, wild blueberry. Um, my brush is wet, but not too wet. It's pretty dry. Okay. A little bit more of that red, just a smidge. more of that Caribbean color. a little bit more dark blueberry that blueberry color to above the eye should be a little bit more shading there I think I'm gonna blend it out again with uh, the turquoisey color Alright, that baby pink. Or really, I think it's called poodle skirt, but whatever. Whoops. Trying to widen the eyes a little bit because I think they're a little bit too close together for my liking.
was an accident, but I actually really like it. The like streaks coming down. I think that looks cool, so I'll just stick with that because I think it's neat. Define the nose a little bit more. I'm gonna take a little bit of um that well that baby pink color for the bottom lip here. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the red color for the top lip. And a little bit more red. Now I'm going to just add those bangs back in. I'm just using my Stabilo. Really simple. I'm going to be coloring it in at the top a bit. Because you, know, just don't, you just don't see scalp <laughs> at the top of your bangs, right? Uh, that should be the top of your head. Okay, now we are going to add the rest of her body. So a little neck, you could do the neck at the same time as you're doing the rest of the face if you'd like. Um, shoulders. I'm actually going to go back and add some more shading in up top on the face because it's bugging me. So, now we're going to do the neck, right? And then you can, of course, do this at the same time. I often do. I often also don't spend as much time on the neck as on the face. So we're going to use all the same colors on the neck. We're going to do it like really loose, really Castle, tan. M. Tur that turquoisey color. And I, it's a little too much paint, so I'm just going to use an old paper towel and pick it up a little. There we go. 
You can always use your finger to kind of blend that in. Looks really cool. I like the effect of that. <clears throat> yep, that is pretty good. I'm fine with that. You can obviously do more if you would like. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Maybe a little bit more pink. Dark blue. Use my finger. If you're gonna use a non-craft paint, like a a real artist paint, I would suggest not doing finger stuff, <laughs> like not uh, blending with your finger as much, unless you're using gloves, because that stuff has some chemicals in it that can sometimes make you ill over time. Just be careful. All right. Alrighty. So what I want to do is just have a really like drapey shape here. It's really stylized. Um, combination of this dark blue color and the red we used. I like how those kind of go together. It's probably a little too much paint. That's okay. We can pick it up in a second here. my extra paint and I'm putting it over here on my little palette because there's still some I can use later. <clears throat> now I'm going to grab just a spare sheet of paper. This is like parking thing. Um, yeah, no. This is like part of the bag we used yesterday. I'm just going to lay it on top. And just press into the wet paint. Voila! 